Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back to the channel. I honestly didn't expect to be making a video so soon, but I've been up really early. And since I've been up, I feel like they're pulling at me to make some sort of a twin flame, a short twin flame reading. Um, just like an energy check-in. Um, I feel like a lot of you are confused about your next steps. You still have questions in your connections. Maybe that's holding you back in your next steps in your own path. Um, and so for whatever reason, they want me to pull cards around this. Um, hopefully you guys had a happy new moon in Cancer. Even though it's Cancerian energy, I do feel like it's it's a lot of um, integration of the emotional self, nurturing ourself, honoring ourself, and it's not going to be stagnant. A lot of the emotional purging that we've been doing is being released so we can start to create the new intentions. We're in portal light right now. We're going to be through the middle of August. And this is a time of rapid downloads, rapid information coming through from higher dimensions, spirit, both for you and for collective. So I would encourage you to get a journal, write down your downloads, listen, listen, listen to your internal guidance. Let yourself cry, release, let yourself align with your passions, let yourself align with your what's right for you, what feels good to you, what feels like home to you, find the home within yourself because you're going to start setting up the stage from August into September for the new life and actually making the dimensional shift starting to in your physical world. So what does this mean? This means that everyone kind of feels a little stuck right now. They're like, well, I can't really see, you know, what's going to happen. The pandemic's putting a kibosh on all my plans. And I get that. Okay. That is the truth in the physical reality. But in the non-physical reality, what your job is now is to not stay stagnant. There's a lot of action energy coming through. There's a lot of intentional energy that you can be setting that's going to help the moment, the momentum start to pick up. This doesn't mean that you have to rip the rug out from underneath yourself and take tons of physical action. This means that you start the momentum by taking intentional action. That means dreaming, anticipating, planning, dreaming, dreaming, visualizing, futurizing. You know, this is about looking to the future now. This is about dreaming about what you want. This, I really feel like a lot of you need to stop putting the limitation of the pandemic on how you're dreaming. Some of you are allowing it to be a physical limitation. Well, I don't know how and I don't know when, but guess what? When we manifest, we don't have to be worried about the how or when. All you have to be thinking of is the what you want to manifest, what you want to be doing in the next phase. I feel a lot of passion projects being born. I feel a lot of clarity coming on the next steps of the new path between August and September. So what are you doing right now? You're setting that up behind the scenes. How are you doing it? Dreaming, intending, planning, setting new intentions, goals, and um, there's a lot of clarity coming too with these love connections, with these soul connections. So let's see what they have to say, okay? Don't forget, while I shuffle, I'll just remind you, don't forget, you can book the Lionsgate Portal Special. It's a healing session. I go in with the higher guides, higher beings, and help you um, scan and remove blocks from your physical body, give you advice and guidance on that. And then we do a 30 minute reading within that session for any intuitive guidance that you need to clear the blocks, find your direction during this light portal. Um, and it's a special, it's $88. It's now through mid-August. There's a few appointments still open this week. There's, I think, five or six slots open next week, and then you can book it for the weeks through mid-August. Like I said, all that's on my website. I'll put the links below. Um, and also on the website, new tarot course, check that out. And I'm taking the registrations for the next psychic development program, which is called the priestess within it's all on the sessions and workshops page. So check that out. Um, I'm not going to pull. Yeah, I am going to pull for feminine, masculine, feminine, masculine, combined energy. Here we go. The lovers for the feminine. Here we go. So <laughs> feminine is thinking about love. She's thinking about what she wants. Masculine, masculine's coming home to himself. 
This is a different energy than what we've seen the masculine in. This is why they're calling me to make this message. This is also the 1111 card. Something good's going on here. I feel like the masculine is seeing 1111 everywhere. He's actually, a lot of the masculines are noticing it, okay? So there's a big wake up call that's happening. Um, a lot of truth is coming through. This is the intention to work out the kinks of the past. Um, combined energy. We have the Knight of Cups. So this is very good. This is about some fulfillment coming here. This is about uh, truth. It's about working out the kinks of the past. It's about coming home to oneself in a new way, which is what the masculine's doing. I feel like maybe the feminine is, is there's a reunion here. This feels like some sort of a reunion. Someone's coming home to the other. One's coming home to the other. Uh, this is a product of coming home to yourself. Masculine feels like he's much more, um, you know, not, I don't want to say dreamy, but much more like caught up in the goodness of life than what has been wrong in the past. And there's been a lot that has unearthed for him. I feel like he's much more caught up in the happiness of thinking about new dreams, new passions. He's willing to take a risk now that's not affected by the past. That I feel for sure. You know, feminine, it's like she's thinking about how can I step forward with a renewed energy of my own feminine and masculine balance from within so that I can be the contributor to iron out the kinks in this connection. The problem has been that she's been putting the onus on the masculine. She needs to own and take responsibility for the imbalance within herself. I'm not saying it's only her, but I'm just saying that she's recognizing how to pull herself into balance through her masculine feminine energy and this is creating a new what feels like a renewal in this connection um and, and fulfillment that's going to come through here by september for many people okay um so let's i also have been feeling heart to heart communication since mercury went direct and we're in this cancerian energy i keep hearing heart to heart, some sort of reach out communication between twins. We're also getting ace of pentacles, which means some sort of a turning over a new leaf, a new earthly beginning. This is like really moving forward on our paths. Um, let's see. Okay. So this is the abandonment energy. So this feels like we're we're he, we're healing this abandonment energy. I'm not supported. I'm not loved. They're saying, you know, this isn't coming up in reverse. It's coming up upright. This is about something that you're transforming in the physical. Okay. Um, I want to say it's more like it feels more like this. Something that gets transformed from the past into a new physical beginning. This feels like. I am going to believe I'm supported. I am going to believe I'm loved. I'm not going to bring in those old fear-based beliefs into this new shot I have at fulfillment and love. This is a lot of what we're leaving behind in the old paradigm here. Yeah. All right. So Knight of Wands, again, this feels like, you know, just the masculine energy feels like it's coming forth and it's saying, um, you know, I'm willing to take a risk. Like I want to take a risk here. I'm willing to take the risk. Um, I, I want to give it a shot. This feels like that's what I just keep hearing. It's like, I want to give it a fair shot. Um, so this feels like more truth is coming through for the masculine. Um, I feel like the feminine is clearing the space in her life for this re-entry. You see the sunset in the back. That feels to me like mountains. That feels like stuff we've overcome. That feels like... Um, this feels like a new day that's going to dawn and you have to treat it as such. Not looking at the sunsets where things have gone awry or things went 
poorly. It's almost in essence like wiping the slate clean. I feel like feminine's clearing the space for it, masculine's entering back in with the with the energy. He's saying, I'm willing to take a risk. I'm willing to take a risk. I'm willing to give this a fair shot. I'm more open now, is what I hear. Um, let's just get some clarifiers for feminine and masculine. Woo! Cards popping out. So we had retreat and reverse. So there's probably been a period of retreating for the feminine. Um, self-love, a lot of self-care. This is part of what that Cancerian energy is that we're in right now. We're needing to do that. I think also this is like, let the masculine come to you, feminine. Uh, that's how it's going to kind of work out best, I feel, for a lot of you. With the masculine, temptations coming up, impulse, betrayal. This is about how he is tempted by his own stuff. <sighs> the temptation to go back to old habits. The temptation to... Um, he, this, this to me feels like a desire that he has to be more truthful with himself, but yet there's still that, there's still a little bit of the temptation. Interesting too, because of the apple, the lover's card and the Rider Waite tarot, the feminine is on, it plays more of like the Eve character. So it's kind of like the forbidden fruit, the temptation. I feel like the, you know, his beloved, the masculine's beloved is his temptation in a way too, but this is about him tempering his own masculine feminine energies. You know, this is about strong desire, passion. Um, there could be a bit of sexual energy that's tied into this where he's feeling the feminine on a more sexual level. Um, but I do feel like he's needing to temper some of his egoic masculine side the part that's been addicted to things where he's betrayed himself where he's not been in his truth and allow the connection to magnetize without um this this forbidden fruit thing in 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 propelling it so i feel like the masculine is really getting pure with his intentions he's saying I want this, but now it's like, this is an opportunity for him to come forth in a less egoic way, in a much more truthful way. So let's just see what else they say about that. So they're saying all is well, you are safe feminine. And see, this is stuff that the masculine is purging and clearing. Kind of like old bad habits, old temptations, maybe leading with his fire energy but then not being able to back it up with commitment it feels like um leading with desire leading with pleasure seeking this stuff's being purged for him that's going to dissolve okay so i feel i'm stepping forward in a new way just tell me pull a few more tarot cards so five swords for the feminine and eight of wands for the masculine. Again, there's a lot of wand energy with the masculine. Um, this is him taking a risk. He's taking some sort of a gamble in this situation. So hopefully he's not being too impulsive. Hopefully he's stepping forth in more truth now. Um, I think if the advice could be pull in your heart to this, pull in your knowing uh, masculine, feminine, this is just you know, a reminder for you to, it's like, leave the past in the past. Um, don't forget the wisdom that you've gained, but you do need to trust again. You're needing to trust again, feminine. So, and the masculine has to learn to trust himself. So let's see if we can get some more clarifiers on this. Refine. So they're telling us to refine our plans. There's plans that were made in a previous iteration of these connections. And they're saying it's time to really look at those plans, refine them and redefine them. Okay. Um, this might be the refinement as well on um, 
ourselves, like how we're fine tuning, especially the masculine feels like he's fine tuning himself, like feels like he's more in his truth, but then there's still these kind of like old habits like lingering. Um, and so they're just asking him to refine that so he can be all the way in his truth and more in a heart centered space. And then we're getting towards the lover, which is again, it's like the lovers, the lover. This feels like much more grounded energy that wants to come in around love and around getting reestablished um, in the physical, this connection. So we have devotion. So there's some sort of a devotion that's coming in. You know, I feel like this is a very devoted masculine. The problem is, is he hasn't been able to be committed fully until now. And I think he's still wrestling with it a little bit, but I feel like his heart is devoted. Um, and there's just still some more releasing that he's doing. Um, and we have Gemini, which are the twins. I'm going to take this less as duality and more about the twins. This feels like the, maybe the duality of our masculine and feminine. This is uniting that, but this is also about twin flame union and merging the duality within ourselves, um, especially for the feminine. Let's take some Oracle cards for additional advice. So feminine, additional message, advice card. You are blessed. Again, this feels like that. You all is well, like very, you know, you're very protective, protected from an angelic standpoint. You know, with the lovers, this is about this spiritual connection. It's not just about temptation and the physical ins and outs and the 3D and what's happened in the 3D and what hasn't happened in the 3D. It's more about you honoring the higher connection. They're saying, remember, this is safe. It's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to trust again. It's safe for you to believe in the higher spiritual connection. You can let the 3D attachment go. Focus on balancing your own feminine and masculine energy, merging yourself, self-caring, self-loving, coming into oneness within yourself, dissolving the duality within yourself, trusting in the higher connection. It's okay to trust is what I hear for the feminine, okay? Masculine, whoops. All that glitters. See, this is the ego. This is about the ego mask being removed. This is about him leading in more truth. He's still wrestling with this. The temptation. It, like I said, it's the more egoic self. It's like he, his true desire is the beloved. But when he steps forth, he steps forth with kind of leading from the wrong place sometimes. Okay. So this is what he's working on coming home to himself dissolving this ego stuff any place too that he's masking you know it's coming up in reverse because it's saying like any place that he's been masking his true desires this feels like it's gonna dismantle now it's gonna the mask is gonna come off this is about the devotion coming through this is about the truth the lover coming through it's much more less about push pull energy oh yeah i'll come through fiery but then i'll retract because i can't be committed or because i have these habits or i have other attachments or i have other you know this is about him getting really real real devoted and taking off those masks and purging this at these aspects um and one more advice card for the combined energy a change in wind so this is like this is something new that's happening in the physical. Um, this is a new, remember this is refine. It says refine. This is a new plan. This is, this is something that maybe you didn't expect, but in a good way, I feel like, like there's some new plans that need to be laid. This, these are not the previous iteration of these connections. This feels to me like, a new direction, maybe even together, 
Or maybe it's you just getting the clarity around this person or this connection so that you can take the new direction. And this is a 12 card. This could be happening over the next year. It could be happening by December. I feel like the 12, you know, 12 is always about like the hours on the clocks, the 12 zodiac signs, the 12. It's very much about like time. I feel like in this time space reality, the calendar months. Um, so there's something about this happening either by December or sometime in the next year where you're really going to have some clarity on this connection and there's going to be a refinement of a plan, maybe even a new direction that you didn't anticipate. Um, for many of you, it might be a union or it might be like really seeing the truth of your connection in a new way. Um, let's look at bottom of the decks. Bottom of this deck is round and round. This is always to me like mental energy, maybe where we're telling ourselves an old story that we need to break free of, okay? That's going to release the new possibilities and open up these connections and our, show us our next steps, okay? So too much maybe mental energy or too much being stuck or attached to that old story. What happened? The he said, she said, the disappointment, the hurt, whatever that's been, letting that go so that you can create the new plan, the new dream, the new desire, yeah? Um, bottom of the tarot deck, eight of cups. So that looks like walking away from karmic situation, walking away from situations, work situations, whatever it is, relationships that weren't maybe were fulfilling for a while, but then we needed to leave. And don't feel bad about this. I think it's coming up in reverse at the bottom of this deck saying, the changes that have already been made in the physical, the way things played out, even in these connections was really meant to be. Even if this connection went awry and you had to leave each other for a while, that's good because it served for you walking towards your higher purpose, going towards what was right and good for you, healing, listening to your truth. And I feel like this is enabling the clarity to come through, more truth to come through and a truer path to light up for you. Um, the bottom of this deck is shadow. So there's still some of that unresolved trauma. Maybe some of you feeling another dark night, fear, pain, stuff that we need to resolve that might be keep, keeping us in the old story. Um, so don't forget to keep doing your shadow work. You know, shadow work is not something we have to do forever and ever and ever. It's just that we have to get to the deepest point of the shadow to illuminate it all. Make sure you do that thoroughly so that you can resolve and integrate. Most people, when they feel like, oh, I've been doing this for so long. I've been 20 years of therapy. It's not that shadow work has to go on and on and on. It's just that you have to get to the deepest root. Like I said, if you don't, it will go on and on and on and on and on. So this is what I do in soul coaching. If you guys want assistance with this, I usually can help people clear it out in just a few, three, you know, two, three, four sessions. Um, isn't, not much more is needed than that, okay? Um, but again, there might be some frustration here where we're not able to clear this. This could also indicate that maybe the masculine's wrestling with doing some of this work, you know, to clear these final pieces um, or your masculine side needs to take initiative on that. And we again have a 12 card and it's movement. So there's some movement that's happening. 12 change in wind, 12 movement. So we've got movement coming. Get ready. There's going to be some changes. There's going to be some forward momentum. And I feel like it's good. I feel like it's positive. All right. So I love you guys. I hope that's helpful. I will see you in the next reading and take care.